Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> welcome to the mess that is here from the last video I made. But you know, I just put the envelopes away. I want to do something today. I don't know if it's going to work out or not, but I want to try. But first, I want to say hello to D Gen Xer. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's correct. I always butcher everything. And Sylvia Burgess. So um, very thank you very, very much for commenting and watching the video. And I appreciate it so much. I just want to show my appreciation. I really do. So now I avocado dyed papers and I coffee dyed papers. And if you dye papers, you know, it's a messy <laughs> business. <laughs> so I keep my um, paper towels. You know, I used to wipe off all the coffee and um, when I strain the coffee, I also, you know, have this in between. So if there are drops or something, it drops on this. But look how pretty this one I kept for a while. And this is, it's not mold or anything. I have like a cookie sheet from Dollar Tree where I keep my strainer. I put it on top and everything. And I believe it it's oxidation. I'm not sure. But um, this is what I get. So I wanted to use, oh my God, that smells so good, like coffee. Now I feel like coffee. Once I'm done with the, with the video, I'm gonna make a coffee. Now it's gonna be a little loud because this is my um, parchment paper that I use to coffee dye avocado papers, you know? And um, you can see the avocado juices <laughs> on here. I didn't wanna toss it. See, I almost burned my kitchen down again. <laughs> once I coffee dyed papers there was a fire in my oven <laughs> because I have a gas oven <laughs> yeah I had a fire it was not very nice it was contained to the oven so you know it was nothing dangerous but after that there was only one rule <laughs> don't burn the house down everything else goes just don't burn the house down and I didn't want to toss it it looks really pretty maybe it doesn't look that pretty on camera but it looks very pretty and um I didn't know what to do with that and I didn't want to toss it but now yesterday actually I got an idea and I want to try it out and yeah it's kind of loud for you probably but I love this crinkly sound I just do so <coughs> of course I left my ruler with a torn edge in my living room because I was working for my Etsy store once again it's always the same always the same I need to make another ruler I need to go to Dollar Tree I just went to Dollar Tree and I didn't buy a ruler. So, <sighs> time to go to Dollar Tree again? What? No, I can't. I have been sick for the past two days. I have exhausted myself, over exhausted myself really bad. Let me just do two. Um, well, some people make ASMR videos with the sounds, crinkly sounds. So let's pretend this is ASMR. However, I thought, I, I have seen a bunch of videos on people making like strips. Yesterday I said stripe again instead of strip. I thought I was over it, <laughs> but sometimes my brain just messes up. And then they make embellishment, roll, strip, something. I don't know the name. However, I was thinking, why not try, you know, and do it on this one. And I want, want to be a little thicker, you know, so I can kind of... How do I do that so it doesn't make all this sound for you? I mean, I don't mind, but I don't know how, how it <laughs> sounds on cam. Um, however, I want to try and do it and relax a little bit. BJ is asleep. Everyone's working. So it's a good time to do something. And I'm just going to, you know, rip off a little, a couple pieces here from my, it's probably too much already from my little paper thing here, paper towel. I always call it kitchen towel because the German word for it is a kitchen tool. At least that's what we called it. We never said paper towel. So now if I say kitchen towel, <laughs> the other day, no, not the other day, it's been a while. It's been a while. I wrote a grocery list. My daughter always does grocery and goes to Costco. So I wrote a list for Costco and uh, we always get paper towels at Costco. So I wrote, instead of paper towels, I wrote kitchen towels and she bought me a huge bag of kitchen towels. <laughs> like, you know, the normal ones that you dry off your dishes with. And we had so many already. We had two new packs. 
and now we have three. So this one pack is still there. It's been a while. When was it? It was probably half a year ago or even longer when she bought it. It's still in the packaging and, you know, in the cabinet. <laughs> but this way I learned to not to say kitchen towel anymore. Okay, so what I want to do, I'm assuming that only, um, what you call it? <gasps> you know what I want to do? Huh. Hmm. Should I do it this way? I'm not sure. I'm thinking right now if I should go ahead and sew it once I'm done. But for that, I would have to be done, right? So let's just start with some. I'm assuming that the normal glue stick is not going to work on this. I'm hoping that my um, glue will work. Where is it? I I apologize. Why am I always apologizing? It's not my fault. I haven't been feeling good. For two days, I had a headache last night, the night before that. Terrible, terrible headaches. And um, that's why I'm very slow and not just not feeling good. Just not feeling good. Because I should pace myself. That's what my husband always says. And I apologize for my fingers. Once again, apologies, apologies, apologies. What is this? We shouldn't have to apologize. We are crafters. I coffee dyed papers, as I said. And the coffee just, it, it just stays on your fingers, you know. I have to do something about it. But the thing is, I'm going to coffee dye again. So I'm probably not going to do anything about it. So I'm just going to, you know, stick it here and there. And hope for the best. I'm just hoping that it's going to stay on it. I definitely don't need that many because I also want to put some scraps and stuff on it. So let's. I wonder if I should just turn it this way. Just turn it this way and stick. So, yeah, if you have like leftover paper, parchment paper, and if you have a paper towel, Dip it in your coffee, put it in the sun, <laughs> and let it dry. It looks so pretty. I mean, come on. You know, and it smells like coffee. Oh, Jesus, I have to stop smelling this. Now my stomach says, give it to me. <laughs> give me some coffee now. <laughs> okay, I definitely ripped up too much. Now I'm looking around. If I have, oh, yep. That's why I bought my Dollar Tree dish pans. You know, so if there is something, I can just put it in the pan, put it away, and next time I have it still there in the pan. <laughs> okay, let's put it on the floor because I have a bunch of tables in my room and there is no space to put anything on top of it. So, one second. <laughs> you will not believe what I was doing. <laughs> because every, every hour... When it's, you see, goal completed. <laughs> Every hour when it is 50, it shows me how many steps I I have left to do in this hour. And I still had 39 steps to go. So I post the video and I walk my 39 steps. <laughs> yeah, because I'm competitive like that. I really like to see that my goal is completed. So that's what I did. <laughs> terrible, I know. It's terrible. But... You know, yesterday I was worse than today and I missed, I believe, three hours. I had to take a nap. I took medication like next day quill or something. I don't know. And um, <laughs> I slept. So yesterday, out of my 10 hours with 250 steps each, there was one hour, three hours missing. And I didn't like that. So now I'm going to rip up these. Because these pages are not very pretty. I don't like the font and I'm saying it every time and I need to use them up. I still have a whole bunch. I had a whole book. So I'm ripping out up the whole page and whatever is left over, I'm going to put in the same dish pan. And maybe once I'm done here or later, if I feel like it. Oh my God, it says Hitler. <gasps> Something experts of history, Hitler. Bavarian, oh my God, what is this book about? <laughs> it's the, f Moscow? I should have read this book. 
oh, oh. <laughs> what is okay I'm, I'm ripping off the hitler part you know if you don't mind <laughs> i don't want it to be on there <laughs> wow <laughs> i haven't seen that you know what i want to do though and i know it's some people don't like to watch it well uh, i heard that some people don't like to watch it but whatever if you watch this channel then you're going to like to watch it otherwise you cannot watch this channel because i'm going to distress everything always what is it vintage yeah it's vintage photo i just don't like the white stuff but i'm going to distress it and just you know i don't care which way it goes up down you know wherever what i'm care about right now is to see if there is another Hitler on my piece of paper and there is not oh god if it doesn't stick too well I'm I'm really going to sew it anyways I like sewing now you know I don't know how I gone that long without sewing anything without having a sewing machine you know, I have a cheap, well, I believe it cost me a hundred, around a hundred dollars, but compared to other machines, it is a cheap machine, sewing machine. And if you have the money, I believe it's always linked in my video description. I'm not quite sure about that, but I believe it is. If you have some money and, you know, if it's your birthday and you're thinking what could I buy or whatever, and you enjoy making paper stuff and you like the look of sewn things, you know, maybe you should invest. That was the best thing I've ever done. I was thinking about it because when it comes to bigger things, it's like, mm, I don't know. If I want to spend that much money just on my hobby, you know, because I'm not planning on sewing clothes or anything like that. Definitely not. I, I have like a trauma from my childhood in Russia in a school. You had to learn everything, you know, whoop, there were cooking classes and sewing classes and everything like that. So yeah, I had to sew something and, um, now I have a trauma from that. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. And I don't want to so close. But I do actually make stuff for my Etsy store. So my my machine paid off at the end. But even if I wouldn't um, have had my Etsy store, I would definitely want a machine. Because it's just cool. I just like it. I want to fill up a couple spots here. Because... It's like my bottom layer here. I hope I can get done, at least with this one. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Is it filled up? Yeah, more or less. Maybe a little tiny piece here. Oh, it says 1945. What? I haven't been looking what it says anymore. I haven't. Maybe it's a Hitler somewhere else. Okay. Okay, what else? Oh, maybe a teeny tiny. Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and put it everywhere now. It looks like. Looks like I'm gluing a lot of little papers. But yeah, like I said, this is going to be like my little background here. Okay, one here. See, there's nothing there. So something goes here. And that's it. Let's let's call it a day. Because we still have some other things, right? Oh, maybe I will need that. So now these I'm gonna toss in the same dish pan. So if I decide to make another one, everything will be there already. Let's try and be a little more organized. Just try. Okay, you don't belong here. I don't know where to put my envelopes that I made the other day, yesterday, the other day. I don't remember. Was it yesterday? It was yesterday, right? Okay, now I have these little leftover coffee filter things here. 
which I'm just gonna do the same way just here and there wherever I feel like I love the coffee filter paper it's it's just so pretty it the feel of it the look of it the crinkling of it it's everything everything I just love that I just do why am I think singing again and I noticed this and since I did I cannot unnotice this anymore I sing when I craft yeah that's what I do okay I'd like to have one right here okay what else am I good no I'm not good I have a couple more pieces now I want to use them up here let's put you here and then you go here oh no oh well it doesn't matter and you go right there and then we are done with the coffee filters ah oh, such a good scrub buster look now I have my my little box here with the scraps and I'm just gonna take the little ones the really small ones that are there and use them up isn't that cool and I have a couple less scraps <laughs> less let's do this why not this I don't have to distress it is kind of a darker color it's from an old dictionary I love dictionaries I I did not see I believe one was there but when I go to my thrift store it looks like they don't have dictionaries anymore really and now I'm just gonna sort out the bigger papers because who needs bigger papers no me and everything that is smaller is gonna go on my little strip here I don't think it's gonna be much more though because I also want to put a couple pictures on there or something like butterflies or whatever it is that is smaller it looks good I'm gonna fill in the little holes just a little bit here and there okay like this now let's see what else do I have like little strips of paper could go on here as well it's like a little collage I would say and oh, there's another one It's like a collage on a strip. Yeah, something. Where's my distressing? It looks like nothing for now. Okay, I glued it to my mat, I think. <laughs> you know, I just thought if this keeps moving or something, you could actually glue it down with... Um, what you call it washi tape yeah that would work okay so there are little tiny pieces this is a big piece there is a tiny piece from my leftover paper that i just used to decorate something in my journal i believe and i'm just gonna look for you know wherever the you don't have to do that I don't know why I'm doing that because it's hard for me to do random things so it's not as random if I'm just looking for the paper to cover it up then it's less random for my brain you know where else here is a little one okay we might be good with the paper on the bottom aren't we now let me see what else do I have I have this little piece Oh, and I have this little piece. Oh, I have this little flower that I took off. I have another little flower that I took off. Look, there are many, many tiny pieces of something in here. Because if you don't toss anything, that's where you end up. You end up with this. Look at this. 
here, here, here. <laughs> there are so many. Where did they all come from? Look at this. Oh God. I might not, I just take them out for now and then I put them somewhere else, I think, because there is a lot. Look at that. There is a lot, but I feel like maybe this would be enough for this one little strip. I, I can't just put everything on top. So I'm going to keep those in my little bin here because I'm gonna make, if I like it, I probably will. I like making it for sure. So I'm probably gonna make, you know, another one like connect it or maybe not connect it, just leave it as a piece here and that's it. Okay, so what am I thinking? I'm thinking, where's my little things? That's what I'm thinking. Where are the little things that I have? I have a little one here. Okay, let's see. So I do have little envelopes, tiny little envelopes. Not envelopes, or maybe envelopes, I don't know. Let's see. How do I wanna do that? Do I just want to put them down? And then decide yeah you know what I decided right now this is gonna be the absolute random thing here totally random it is what it is I'm not making any decisions <laughs> well I am making decisions just not too many I'm just gonna glue stuff down you know for the full length of it those are little envelopes that are going to go down here. Okay, envelopes done. Now, what else is in here? I have little from principles. They are little, I don't know what you call them. Tiny pieces here. Opa, let's see. This is are all fussy cut. Now I have to make a little spot here so I can put my stuff in there. There's a butterfly. There's another butterfly. There is, I believe these are from Tracy. I'm not sure. You know, everything that I see that's tiny, I'm thinking, is this Tracy Fox? Or is this somebody else? I do not know, but look at that. There are little a lot of them. Okay, so I'm not taking them all. So I'm just going... Oh, you know what I didn't do? I'm going to do it on top now. I did not distress these. They are partially dark, but still. You see, this one is not very dark. Okay. Okay, like this, and maybe a little tiny round one underneath. Or maybe we should do like black and white. Or maybe, oh, I'm thinking again, oh no. <laughs> I'm thinking again. I'm not gonna think too much, I'm just going to glue I need to find the rest of my little finger daubers here and I'm just gonna glue it randomly oh what is this going to be at the end I do not know hopefully something I can use <laughs> hopefully over here I wish I had a couple more maybe I do oh no, it's okay maybe I do let's let's check this out do I have a couple more of the round ones it doesn't look this way okay it doesn't look that way now I'm thinking do I have flowers you know so this is how it goes 
and now I do have these little things here but I'm also thinking do I have like fussy cut flowers or something like that hmm. uh, do not, what is this oh those are the labels from Tracy okay what else do I have I have things like that this is really big I don't want that big what else is here random things yes I did put some random things in there tickets oh oh I think I'm getting there what is this this looks like Tim Holtz Tim Holtz has flowers but they are too teeny tiny I think let's see let's get it out of here first he has little flowers but I kind of think they are too tiny I need something but oh I bought some what am I thinking look at that I did buy some just recently and do I have a box for you not here so I'm gonna get a box a little later but now I'm just gonna use this you see I keep everything from my kitchen I believe that was a tray from Costco with the chicken thigh rotisserie chicken thigh <laughs> wash it I bring it to my room well my husband's washed it and then I bring it to my room look I haven't even oh I haven't even opened this one you know and now I did oh how pretty is that big though oh how pretty is that you know and if you cut it like this later you can make a little tuck spot or a decoration or whatever oh my god I'm loving this they only had one pack next time I see one I should buy another one I just opened this one but you know why I want to buy another one because if I use something here now I'm not gonna have it anymore makes sense right it totally does so this one could go here oh my god I can't use stuff if I can't buy more <laughs> I can't use stuff if I can't buy more oh, it's tough it's so tough I mean look if I use this one I won't have one of those anymore there won't be one So how can I use it? How? Somebody tell me this. I'm looking for something smaller. So I'm going to connect something here too. How am I going to sew it if I connect it all? I want a, you see, this could be part, this could be part, and then this could be a part. And this could be one. Oh yeah. <sighs> I'm having a hard time right now and you might know why. Because because I have to say goodbye to these pieces. <laughs> because where's my little ones? I, I want to put something here underneath. I have to say goodbye to these pieces now because they will be gone once I put glue on top of them. And it's not that easy. No, I don't have another one. Doing it. Okay, what did I take out? Oh, the Tracy labels. You know, because we can also put a label everywhere. This. There is something though already like this that's too big natural i could cut it you know you can do whatever you want to do with your labels so i could just cut this one and have two labels you see natural history label uh-huh and then specimen label flower heads oh my god flower heads it even says something with flowers. Okay, what else could go in there? Why am I not gluing down? <laughs> I know why. I know why. <laughs> I don't wanna. Okay.
Okay, I need to cut around another label here. That's not fun right now. I didn't have two packs of these. Otherwise, I would have bought two packs. <laughs> but I only have one. <sighs> you know what? I like this on there because it has blue and this has blue and this can go here somewhere, maybe. And then we only need one more. It that is not as big. Come on. Delete. No, we're not going to delete our flowers. Say something. Say something. I just saw something. Oh, what does this say? Balance? No, no balances here. I want something. Something. I just saw it and then it, it was gone. There's the same one like here you know with the history but i believe this is just not as dark as the other one okay <laughs> i'm gonna cry now i am going to cry i definitely am going to cry will this be my first one opa And this could say like fine art it is fine art but i lost my finger dauber right here just gonna go around it a little bit here okay i gotta do what i gotta do right i gotta do what i gotta do there's no way around it no way On it. That's it. Bye bye. I will miss you. And even though I know it's gonna look pretty and it's going to go on a project someday that I like for sure because I like my project, it's still a goodbye for me. So I would snip it off like this. If you put it somewhere, I would actually not even snip it, but probably just rip it off like that. And then, wow, this butterfly is just pretty. It is amazingly pretty. And I would put the butterfly somewhere here and put it like that. Probably. <sighs> Goodbye, butterfly. <laughs> Can you tell? I'm getting all sentimental. <laughs> getting all quiet <laughs> and ready to cry. <laughs> Why? <laughs> terrible, isn't it? It is terrible. I'm ready to cry. This was supposed to be a fun project and I'm just gonna go around and just saw like randomly I think maybe I should have sewn it and then stuck the things on top I don't know maybe maybe not so this I would rip somewhere here and this I would rip somewhere here and then this one would stay on here <gasps> goodbye goodbye Rose you look so pretty but I gotta glue you down now I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cry. Somebody help me. Do you feel like this? I mean, do you? If you take something, I'm. You watch my channel. I don't use things like that very often, just because. Not because I don't have things, but because because I don't want the things to go. Whoa, I think I dropped a label somewhere because I had an extra label and now I don't. I don't even know which label. Once I rewatch the video, I'm going to see. But for now, I don't see. I thought I had one more on here, but that's fine. 
Okay. Yeah, going to rip some more here, going to rip some more here. And this one, I just want, I just want something to stick out there. I don't know, for some reason, that's what I want. Now I need to find something that I would like to stick out on the side. You know, there is not much. Where are you? Who's in my little box? I'm sure I put it aside so I don't toss it down. It looks like this, but it doesn't have a lid. It doesn't have a lid. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Something like this. Or maybe this. Let's see. Oh, I found the round one. I actually found two round ones. Very good. I looked twice and I didn't see. So I'm just going to go here and here. That's what I'm going to do. I don't have a problem to use up printables because, you know, I can reprint them. But I do have a problem <laughs> using up these because I cannot reprint them. And I don't know if I can rebite them because I don't know if I'm going to get to a store sometime soon. It took me like 13 months to get to Dollar Tree and even longer to get to Joanne's. So, yeah, I'll see you then, Rose. But I had fun. I really enjoyed making this, I must say. I mean, it only took like 40 minutes or something and I made four. If I, if I would rip them up, it would be four of them. But I did have fun. I might just, you know, take the rest of it in my living room now. I need to rest first. I rest and then I could take the rest of them in my living room. I don't want them all to go to the same side. I want one of these to go here. Oh, yes. Maybe a little lower. So what do you think? I think it looks pretty. You know, you would always... How do I do that? I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you how this would go. I would cut it or rip it here. And then I have a pretty piece. Let me see. Oh, my wonderful, wonderful. Look at this. This was avocado dyed. I have a pretty piece I can rip off and stick somewhere whenever I want to. You know, well then I could rip this one off and have this pretty piece wherever I want to. Or I could probably leave both, but then, you know, I wouldn't put two of these. This could be like a belly band or a bigger pocket or like a tuck spot, but then I would not put two of them on there. So I'm not planning on doing that. But now, basically, what I would do is I would take this piece, I would toss everything on the floor, then I would take this piece and put glue on it and connect this one right here on the bottom and just continue. I think it would be fun to make. Now, you know, some people do roll them, but I'm not sure if it's that good. I don't know what I would do. I really don't. I think I might just rip it up. <laughs> I know that I could have ripped it up from the beginning, but it's more fun to make it a big roll. I'm going to sew it and show you next time how it looks like, if I don't forget, how it looks like once I sewn around it. I'm going to sew one like here and then see if I enjoy it. I mean, it looks really good now already. I might just put some on top and a little bit down. Everything is stuck more or less. This one less, but I don't think it matters. I don't think everything needs to be stuck down really, really good if you put it somewhere on the outside. So and the back is really clean and good and it seems to stick to this one. Yeah, I'm just going to put some sewing on it, I'm thinking. Well, oh, where did this come from and why didn't I use it in my journal? I wanted to use up those two and I totally forgot. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. You know, let me know if you have done this before. I have never. So you saw me doing this for the first time in my whole life. 
and it seems to be easy enough for me to do it so i'm sure it's easy enough for everyone to do it if i can do it everyone can do it as always <laughs> anything i can do everyone can do and um it takes away a lot of scraps so i like that that all of my not all of my scraps but a bunch of my scraps are gone and i think if i continue like that it's gonna be even more of a scrap buster and you could make them in any, they don't have to be like this, roses or something. You can do steampunk or, you know, anything you want, you can go for it. You can do the specimen Tim Holtz style with the black and white. Actually, in my head, that was black and white, but somehow it turned out not to be. And while I talk to you, I'm trying to clean up a little bit. You know, so it looks better here and I have, have some space to craft once I come back. Well, if you enjoyed it, as always, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and enjoy your day. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.